Hi guys. Uh, well, this is the latest in the ball thrower. Uh, it's all made out of uh, one and a half inch pine. Uh, and these are two wheels uh, that I've ordered from China. Uh, there'll be another four weeks, three to four weeks to get them. Uh, they're larger wheels, twice the diameter and three times the mass of the previous wheels. Uh, so with that, it ought to increase the distance uh, that we're getting, that we're going to be getting. Uh, there's a little handle here to carry it with uh, up here in the front. Uh, the dog or person would drop the ball in the hopper here. There's a lever switch that's attached to a uh, servo motor. This is a little servo motor back here in the back. And when the lever switch gets tripped, it'll turn the motors on and start coming up the speed. And then the servo motor will rotate the switch out of the way to allow the ball to drop down into this trough. And it'll go down to the wheels and be launched. Uh, this back here is the battery uh, for it. This back here on the back, I'm mounting the dog feeder. Uh, so that's basically, <clears throat> uh, I guess I still have to build a little ramp for the food and a little tray to catch the food down here on the bottom. But this is where you put your dog food. And it's about 12 inches by 12 inches, so it's not real big. The height of this is 18 inches, so I'm hoping jacks or packs or jacks can get reach 18 inches. Uh, over here on this side is the container for the electronics uh, for the whole unit. So that's uh, kind of what it's looking out to be uh, in doing the quick calculations because of the mass and the wheel diameter it be, should be about uh, 1153 percent increase in distance than what we had with the smaller wheels so we'll have to wait and see it'll be another three weeks before i get those uh balls or those wheels in so i can now i'm not going to start building this until i get those wheels in uh, so i can check these dimensions and everything so that's uh, kind of what we're looking at Thank mm -hmm. you.